Cradle is the crack cocaine of fantasy. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Be more than human. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joseph Carroll. I write under the pen name J.R. Carroll. And today we are headed back to Cradle and book number three, Black Flame. Now, if you've been following the journey, we've made it through the first two books, Unsold, and Soulsmith, and we're following our main character, Lyndon, as he progresses in this progression fantasy um, towards his goal of ascending to a high enough level to save his home in Sacred Valley. Now, we're following, when we, when we left off, he had just met with Ethan um, and Fisher uh, Gesher, and so now he's he is you know through this book he has um, ended up you know uh, with Ethan running into uh, a character Jai Law or Jai Long. And he is tasked with having to fight him in a in a year because he accidentally killed one of his clan members um, in the scuffle at the end of uh, you know Soulsmith. <laughs> so this book is basically uh, him training through uh, most of the book, but. Um, and normally, I'm not a big fan of, like, the school, like, you know, like, like there's a lot of books about assassin school and, you know, training for such and such. Um, not the biggest fan of that, um, but this does it, you know, Will White does it really well. Um, and, you know... At first, you think that they're going to go, Yarin and Lyndon are going to go on two separate paths um, through this. And at first, they, they, they kind of do. Um, you know, she's kind of off doing her own thing. And, um, you know, Ethan has uh, Lyndon kind of doing, you know, doing his own thing. But he, um, you know, prog he's starting to progress you know, quicker here, and <laughs> Ethan finds this little, you know, the, he has a, he has a thought, and there is a old, like, system that's not used anymore, which is the way of the Black Flame, and there's an ancestor of, of a, because they used to be dragons, but there's this turtle He's like a huge turtle. He's like, like the turtle's like the size of a horse. And somehow he's a descendant uh, or part dragon and he breathes flames and stuff. And the, um, but something about the black flame is like burning him from inside, burning his soul. And um, Ethan and his people will come in and feed, feed this uh, turtle like uh, pure you know, pure energy or whatever kind of helps purify him a little bit. And that's the thing about Lyndon is he has the two, um, the two, you know, cores, two souls or whatever inside of him. And one of them is like pumping out pure energy. You know, he hasn't chosen one way or the other. And so Ethan bonds the turtle, uh, whose name is Orthos, who is, you know, kind of low-key hilarious in just the way he talks. You know, he's kind of got that, like, I'm, I'm ancient, super powerful. He's like, you're all puny. And, you know, and of course, Lyndon in all these books is very, um, kind of 
demeaning to himself to his superiors and Ordos is like kind of likes that he's like you know he's like yeah you know your place I you know I will help you puny human and so they kind of do this thing where they kind of merge and Orthos flows his energy in you know into Linden and powers him up really quick he gets you know goes from you know goes up to Jade real quick and eventually makes his way into the low gold um and but at some point you know Yarin and him come back together to to do this training on this super difficult uh training course that uh you know Athens people own that is from the old black flame clan um and so you know they is supposed to be for like five people and so and they're all golds but of course Yarin's a low gold trying to make her way up to true gold and then you have Linden who's only a, a jade by this point and they're like just getting beaten up beaten up through this whole thing um while Ethan uh who is also a hilarious he's kind of like a he almost strikes me as kind of like a Marvel like Loki type character like he's super powerful and he knows it and he's kind of an asshole in a way um but he's but he's, he's you know he's an awesome character and he ends up you know fighting like this whole other clan by himself and but while he's doing this, he is basically telling Yara and Lin, you know, I expect you to keep keep training even though the whole freaking world is exploding around you. Which just makes everything even more hilarious. But you know, the way this you know, this this book series is kind of set up is like, you know, it's progressing fantasy, you would think, well, it's all gonna it's all going to kind of be super formulaic and you're, you know, you're going to get tired of it after a while. But Will White just knows how to just lay certain things out that will just keep you wanting to go through. And, you know, because we're, we've kept the same couple characters through these two books, it's giving you that time to get to know these characters. And these books are so short that you just want to blow through them. And honestly, if I didn't have, if I didn't, you know, if I wasn't in the, you know, pro process of doing a couple other series actively, I would just binge this whole series in a month. I mean, I, you could probably, I, you know, there's set six books, you know, now because I think the eleventh just came out. I, I do the whole six in one, you know, one month if I, um, and that wouldn't be that hard. Um, but I got other books to do, um, so I'm, you know, going to one or two a month. Um, but this is an amazing book series. I am super happy that uh, I listened to Michael Nip, one of the best booktubers out there. I'm glad I listened to him, and uh, yeah, this is uh, this is going to be an ongoing thing. I, I just I feel like they're only going to get better, and. Let me know if you are into Cradle, and if so, let me know what you think about the first three books here, and um, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, um, trying to push out more content here over the next few days, and I'll see you in the next one.